I know that look. Diverus? That was the same story he told the Glanfathens. At least the Wahaki made him pay for his lie. Then the Wahaki are the painted masks. They've been serving the Leaden Key's interests for 2,000 years without even knowing it. Though not, it seems, in the way Theos intended. That is little comfort. They were still doing his bidding. Belief is a curious thing. Once, the Wahaki believed they were guarding themselves against the Ingwitans, Theos' people. Yet over time, they became hostile toward all outsiders. Yes, but it didn't stop there. It's not just that the Wahaki misread Theos' original message. It fundamentally changed them. They went from being a large and well-connected tribe to a much smaller one defined by isolationism. Troubling, isn't it? I've been hunting the Leaden Key, trying to shape them into a force for good. But what if I only make them worse? Might I be to blame? Have I made a grievous mistake in getting involved? I must say, that's a disconcerting thought. If that's true, then every decision we make is fraught. Nothing is certain. Perhaps I was wrong to think I could change a 2,000-year-old organization. Or well, that would be a straightforward task. It seems I've been as misguided as Theos ever was. Well, knowing the gods came from Kith, it's easy to see how the world became such a complicated place. We're always trying to impose our own order of vision upon it. Perhaps it would be better off if we stopped altogether. It's not as though that's up to you or me, is it? Anyway, thank you. This has lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Yes, certainly.